Hello everyone, this is SS Impossible again, um, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to import, or to create, um, uh, well, to get um, terrain from Google Earth into Google SketchUp, and then import it into Blender from there. So I'll start by deleting this default person, just by clicking on her and hitting the delete key. And um, now I'm going to click on this button up here, um, the Add Location button. Wait for that to pull up. Alright, and I'm going to find a quick terrain here. Just zoom in somewhere. I guess probably somewhere in mountains. I don't know. This is Google SketchUp 8, by the way. Keep zooming in until you find a good enough spot that you think will work. That's probably good enough. Yep. Um. So click select region. I just went away. I just went away now since I clicked on it. But click that and then select grab. Wait just a second here. All right. Um. The terrain appeared in Google Earth, not Google Earth, Google SketchUp, right there. You can see it. Let me zoom out a little bit. Alright, so you can see it there, but it's completely flat. Um, you'll want to click on this Toggle Terrain button, and that'll toggle the terrain there. And you'll see this now, which definitely looks a lot better. Alright, um, what you want to do now is click on the little arrow button over here. Select it, just clicking on it. Um, click on Edit, um, hover over Unlock, and click on Selected, um, then click on Edit again, Group, um, hover over the Group 1 in Model, and select Explode. Um, this is the one step that was messing me up every time I tried to export it, because it wasn't mentioned in pretty much all the other tutorials I'd looked at. Alright, so once you've exploded the mesh, you can come up here into File, um, hover over Export, 3D model. Uh, save it in any given location. Doesn't really matter. As long as you can find it later. Um, just name this Mountains. Uh, just keep it as a collada file. .da. Click export. Alright. And now I'm going to open up Blender. Get that going. Um, delete the default cube, of course. Import. Oops. Import. Um, Colada.dae. Go out and find it. Should be, yeah, my desktop right there. Mountains.dae. Um, import Colada. Now, there's this big gray thing that's a terrain, but it's obviously way too big. So hit S and scale it down. Just keep scaling. It might take a while. Keep scaling. Alright, that's probably about right. Um, it looks pretty badly messed up, though. You'll notice if you hit um, smooth shading, nothing happens the second it's already in smooth shading. You have to clean this up a little bit. I'm um, going to edit mode by hitting tab. Select everything by pressing the A key. Um, what you want to do first is hit W and click on remove doubles. And as you can see, it removed 548 vertices. So that was an awful lot to begin with. Um, if you tab back out in edit mode, that sort of fixed up that strange look in the beginning. Um, now, back in edit mode, hit Alt-J. Oops. Yeah, Alt-J. And that got rid of a lot of triangles in the mesh. There are still some along the edges there, but it cleaned up the mesh a lot more. Um, so that pretty much brings in the terrain. Um, if you come over here, I'm going to give it a subsurf modifier because it looks too low poly for my taste. Um... And that's looking pretty nice. Notice that the textures aren't on it. Um, but if you come in here under Material, they are actually there. It's already on UV, so if you go over here, and it's not a very good render setup. I'm going to scale this up a little bit more. doesn't really matter, but... Um, rend oops, render that, F12. Then you'll see that the textures are there. Um, you'll notice that they're not the best textures. They're pretty low quality, and they have 
um, the words powered by Google written on one side, which you re wouldn't really want that on your terrain if you were rendering a CG image of this. Um, so typically, I would either, um, I would probably just find another image somewhere else to use as textures. But, so, that got the terrain into Blender here. And, um, I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and thanks for watching.